Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Govberg, and thanks for logging on. Today we are looking at the Giger LeCoultre Master Compressor Extreme World Chronograph Inverse Soar. You can see this unique 1 of 100 reverse left-handed Giger LeCoultre Master Compressor Extreme on our website, govbergwatches.com. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our app, Govberg On Time, for the latest news, views, videos, and reviews of watches. On my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters, you can see that this watch wears with the case profile of the Master Compressor Extremes, but the look being reversed 180 degrees transforms the watch. Now I should also mention that although this is considered to be in Panerai speak a destro or in JLC speak an inverseur, it is ambidextrous. You can wear this right-handed or left-handed. I'm a righty, I'm wearing it on my left hand and I actually find that the functional logic of the watch works better as a chronograph that way. More on that in a moment. Now the case itself is 46.5 millimeters across the broad of the case, that is across the round portion. Definitely not including the outcroppings of the crown that controls the world time chapter ring or the compressor crowns on the nine o'clock side. I'll also mention that the watch is a robust 16.5 millimeters thick and from lug to lug it's a substantial but not overwhelming 55 millimeters and I say not overwhelming because even though I have a 16 centimeter wrist, I do own a watch in an identically sized master compressor extreme case and just to prove it, my watch makes a quick cameo here. Same proportions, same bimetallic titanium and steel case. I wear this watch easily and frequently, which is why if you have a smaller wrist, you really need to consider this Master Compressor Extreme Inversor. And here's why. Being mostly titanium, the watch wears incredibly light, and the ergonomic equation, carefully considered by Jeger LeCoultre's watchmakers, is superb. Now, you can see, with those crowns and that thickness, it's never going to slide under a tight sleeve or dress cuff. However, the watch does have a superb compliance that actually affords it a little bit of camber and unconstrained straps. They are semi-conforming, which is to say they're curved a little bit to close the visual gap with the flank of the case, but they pull straight down to fit around the tight curve of a smaller wrist. This is an easy watch to wear, a sporty watch to be sure, but an easy watch to wear. Perhaps not one for formal occasions, it is nevertheless one for almost all others. And that's because it packs incredible functionality into its huge steel and titanium case. Now, Let's talk a little bit about what J JLC gives you. Everything that touches the skin, steel, titanium, and leather is of the highest quality. You get a double contrasting stitched, somewhat semi-aviator style, heavily bolstered alligator leather strap. This thing feels like a bulletproof vest. It's incredibly heavy. It's incredibly thick. And if it had any inclination to rigidly constrain itself against the flank of the case, I could never wear this watch. Fortunately, again, there is no such constraint. And it's paired with an equally high quality JLC manufactured double deployant clasp. Now, this is a fantastic piece that allows the watch, once again, to easily fit onto a smaller wrist because instead of the one big up and over of a single fold deployment, you have two small increments that close easily and comply nicely with the soft underside of a smaller wrist. There's no pinch there. Now the watch is decidedly different from the standard circa 2005 JLC Master Compressor Extreme World Chrono. And that's because this one of 100 features all functions of the chronograph and crown setting on the nine o'clock side. First thing I should mention is that the crowns are inverted. So the one that's on the bottom of the dial actually starts the chronograph and it is a JLC caliber 752 in-house movement. More on that in a moment. Now if you can get by the slightly different function and the slightly different aesthetic. This is all the classic Compressor Extreme World chronograph we've come to love. Now, when I talked about the functionality of this watch working better for a righty, this is exactly what I mean. By using the thumb, I can easily stop, start, and reset the watch, whereas in a conventional right-handed version, I would be trying to actuate those functions with my, my index finger, which simply isn't as strong and isn't as agile. So this works from a functional standpoint. It actually improves the watch. Now from an aesthetic standpoint, the dial is also different. With the constant seconds indicator being relocated to 12 o'clock, you can also see that it's become a bar rather than the semicircle featured on the conventional model. Likewise, there's a dramatic 
slate sunburst. Now the slate sunburst dial is a little bit different than what you might expect because like the Chopard LUC models, the sunburst doesn't originate from the cannon pinion at center. It actually explodes from the compressor extreme script at six o'clock. So it has a different look across the dial when direct light hits it. There's also a beautiful grayscale treatment on this dial. Everything from white to black on the sub registers flows beautifully and with an awesome consonance. That really means you feel like you're looking at one huge round span. The distinction between case and bezel, dial and chapter rings is very subtle and it visually expands the watch. Now the shocks of red are a wonderful touch. They're lively and highly legible on the dial itself, but for the compressor crowns, one of JLC's key innovations of the 2000s, they're highly functional in a different sense. Red you're dead one half turn or a quarter turn in the case of the chronograph pushers and you can actuate any of the functions. I say red you're dead because this is the open look of the crowns. That is they are not watertight. However, simply turning them to the white you're tight indication gives you 100 meters or approximately 328 feet of water resistance. It's a superb system that's so easy to use when your hands are gloved, wet, or sweaty. Much more convenient than a screw down crown. Also visually distinctive. Now on the case back of this one of 100 limited edition you have the special terminology inversor with individual numbering. But you also have the compressor extreme quick release lugs that I absolutely love for swapping straps on my own. A single pull. It's a lever system, and you can see how the lugs are spring-loaded, will allow you to fit and refit a strap. If you're good, you can get both sides off and replaced in 10 seconds. Of course, in-house caliber 752, 41 joule, 279 piece movement, 65 hour power reserve with twin main spring barrels. It is free sprung. It features highly efficient unidirectional winding with unlubricated sealed for life ceramic rotor bearings for longevity. The hairspring is double laser welded at the stud and the collet for stability and resistance to shock. Everything in this watch from the vertical clutch that engages Engages the chronograph function, which of course I've locked here, to the column wheel that selects the functions is classical modern JLC watchmaking, taking the finest traditions, combining the latest contemporary technologies, and executing it in a package that is hugely compelling. You can see this unique Jezer Le Coult Master Compressor Extreme World Chronograph Inversor on our website, govbergwatches.com.